I'm here in Afghanistan, where IOM has been serving its people for the past 30 years. And after the events of last year, we had to really scale up our work to meet the ever-increasing humanitarian needs. In the Southeast region, 14,000 homes were destroyed after an earthquake magnitude of 5.9 hit. On top of that, flash floods have affected 16 provinces and impacted 12,000 families. In response to the earthquake, IOM was on the ground within 24 hours and immediately followed up with the provision of a range of services. And what our teams had seen was the deep sense of loss and lack of hope that they were dealing with. And as IOM, we provided psychosocial support to help with their mental health. And it was really, really impressive to see and to hear from the community members themselves how important support for their mental health was to them. As IOM, we're committed to stay with these communities in the longer term to help them recover, rebuild, and to be well prepared for the upcoming winter. Being able to negotiate access in a culturally sensitive way underpins all of IOM's work. We work in Afghanistan across all aspects, whether it's humanitarian needs, whether it's what's required for recovery and stabilization in the communities, for migrants, for IDPs, for refugees, for returnees, for the host communities themselves. And ultimately, what we want to see is an Afghanistan that is meeting its objectives for sustainable development of its country and its people.